I almost feel like I should start a captain's log with everything going on. Um, I think I've talked to pretty much everyone aboard. Well, everyone worthwhile talking to at the very least. I do want to go down to engineering, but uh, let's see what's see what's up over there. But uh, whoops. For now. Let's go like this, and I would like to open a, a log, which I cannot do from here, unfortunately. Oh well. Um, there is also the matter of the entire squad thing to resolve. Now, I have um, some stuff to, to learn here, but that's alright. So do my crewmates. I'm going to figure that out later for now. Go over to the journal. Um, the race against time. Saren is searching for the conduit. Indeed he is, and Vermeer should lead me to the conduit. Speaking of, Vermeer is uh, worth running to go to Toronto with the Solarian team. Now, there is a Geth attack on Pharos, which I think is, is what I'm going to go and, and look into first. Uh, Zoo's Hope. However, there is a bunch of these things that I've been uh, assigned as well. Not as necessarily dealing with uh, dealing with Saren, but for example, there is this rogue AI. There are Prothean data disks, which I suppose I'll collect along the way. There is a Sari diplomacy in which I need to go to the Citadel to meet with someone. That's fine. Missing Marines, that is in the Citadel as well. Um, smuggling. Return the package. You've recovered Opold's package. It appears to be a powerful experimental weapon mod. Bring it back to him in his at his store. I'm assuming this is at the... His package has been left outside the Normandy in the docking bay. This is on Novaria. Yeah, he's still on Novaria, I'm pretty sure. Let's pop over to Novaria really quickly, and then we're gonna do... We're gonna deal with the rogue AI. Soul system in the local cluster and deal with the rogue AI on Earth's moon. So there is a rogue AI on the moon. Um, Saren being a threat is one thing, and I doubt anyone will will disagree that that is our most pressing concern, but there is a rogue AI on the literal moon. Feel like that warrants a visit as well. Like, right now. Especially because I don't exactly know where Saren is, and I'm kind of just following his trail ever so slowly. I mean, to Sony was important but kind of i mean and given the fact that the krogan wanted to kill her if he couldn't capture her, i that leads me to conclude that she's more of a loose end than anything else so yeah now, i'm pretty sure the last time i was on novaria i said i'm never coming back here ever again and if i am i'm coming back to burn the place to the ground i came back with a new sniper rifle Possibly the best sniper rifle in the galaxy. Um, I feel like it's not quite as dramatic as I said it would be, but I am here on business, and, well... I'd say I wasn't exactly thinking very rationally at the time when I said those words. But I still have sort of the same opinion. Is that is that wrong? Is that... Uh, I don't know. What, what do you think? Do not be fooled by these civilized surroundings. This is a place of secrets and lies. Yeah, even the person that's spent 50 years on the ground can tell, all right? Also, anyways, um, Opold, I have the thing. Do you have the package? The customer grows restless. Yes, I have. There you go. Here you are. The Spectre has done a great service for this one. From the deepness of light, it thanks you. You are quite welcome. This one promised compensation for services rendered. 
it humbly suggests that a sum of 250 credits would be most appropriate. Excuse me? Would you have had any chance of getting this past customs without me? You can be a bit more generous. The other's words possess the discomforting ring of truth. This one could raise the sum to 500 credits. That is half this one's profit taken by the other. It can offer no more. That's thoughtful of you. This one is glad to have come to an agreement. I mean, I'm just browsing. It's also dirt this cheap. Awaits your return. I mean, the price for killing one of those Geth snipers was about what one thousand credits or so. I think I got for killing one. Mind you, okay, it doesn't always happen, but I, f I do remember finding over a thousand credits after a after I've, I've killed one of the Geth. And it wasn't like a Geth Juggernaut or something, it was just a regular Geth. And you gave me 500 for smuggling something for you. Not to mention that I've trekked like a quarter way through the galaxy for 500 credits. You know what, they never said a Spectre's job pays well, I suppose. I should have paid more attention to that, I guess. Well, anyway, we're off to fight the evil moon AI or something. Uh, here we go. Sol. Home sweet home. Well, eventually, you know, it'll take some time to get there. But honestly, I think the crew can use some RAR after all the high intensity warfare we've been conducting across the galaxy. Well, that's a chance to see Earth, I, uh, Earth, I think, uh, will boost morale. No doubt about it, really. Ah, it is, uh, <laughs> it is refreshing to, uh, to see familiar planets. But let's check them out anyway. Uh, there is an outpost on Mercury with 340 people that I, uh, honestly didn't know. Venus, population of 800, okay. Yeah, and probably research and stuff. We'll, uh, we'll leave Earth uh, for last, obviously. And then Mars. Actually, do we not have... Yeah, 3.4 million. That's not particularly high, to be honest with you, given the, the population of Earth. Expected to be a bit higher, higher than that, but yeah, anyway. Uh, population across all the moons, 9,100. Anything on Saturn? 100,000 uh, orbitals and Titan. Interesting, so... Oh, this is a huge colony as well. Huh. And Neptune has, like, 70. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, what the hell is... Technically, Pluto's not part of this, but... Uh, okay. Oh! Pluto's orbit was circularized in 2157 as a side effect of the Charon Mass Relay recovery operations. Wow. That is, uh, well, an interesting bit of history, I guess. I didn't know that. Now, though, let's take a look at Earth. 11.4 billion. Plus another 250,000 uh, for the local stations. Orbital distance, of course, 1 AU. Light period, 1 Earth years. It is the base measuring for everything else that we do. Uh, day length, 23.9 hours. Yes, that is technically correct. I love how, how we finally fixed that. It's not 24 hours. It's about time we, we get it right. Um, we, we knew that it wasn't 24 hours. It just wasn't standardized. Oh, well. Anyways. Fascinating. She is a beauty, isn't she? 
leather weight and gold and all the mud blood and terror we have to endure out here in space just to protect her, damn it. And, uh, well, this time round, apparently the enemy is much closer to home, or at least the cause of our troubles is at least close to home. Let's go with Liara and Garrus, I think. Um, I'll do Liara and Tali. Yeah, let's go with Liara and Tali, because she can, um... She can hack stuff, and we're going to fight AI, and I have a feeling she'll be useful. Now, the two don't have the best weapons equipped, but I think I can work on that. Now, look at that. Who'd have thought? We've landed on the moon. Um, for all the different places that... Uh, This entire Spectre business has taken us. Didn't know the moon would be one of them, but... Here we are. Let's see... Uh... Honestly, it's as barren as I've read about it. Don't see much of interest here apart from that thing over there. Let's see. Might find some historical artifacts, honestly. That have been left behind. Oh, find is a little bit generous. Yeah, speaking of, the Soviet Union Luna 23. On my way. This one is worth taking a long look at. One of humanity's first ever expeditions, if you want to call it that. Our first efforts beyond the stars, as it were. Well, not much beyond the stars, just, you know, kind of looks pathetic nowadays, given the technology we have. Like, right, we, we jumped from here to there. It's it's not what we didn't jump. It wasn't a crude mission, but you know what I mean? Like, we hurled something from over there to over here. Seems kind of pathetic, but at the time it was revolutionary. Oh, bloody Soviet security system, eh? <laughs> I guess we can salvage something out of it. Well, that's nostalgic and, uh, and interesting, but we're not here for the Lunar Lander, uh, <laughs> nor for the Soviet probe. We're here for the Alliance Training Center, which is, uh, shall we say, having some issues. Right, there it is. We are opening fire on us. The automated defense turrets, I'm assuming. Let's go park up here on this ridge. Ridge, cliff, uh, more of a cliff, I suppose. Okay. Not what I wanted to do. Okay, I think that got them all. So... Where is the entrance to this? Ah. Okay, here we go. Mm, squad. 
55 points, okay. So, you're going to be doing first aid. And electronics. Hmm. Okay, uh, I want you to do barrier. Or to unlock barrier. Stasis, not very fond of. Throw, definitely. Warp. Inflicts 6 damage to the target every second. Lowers the target damage resistance by 50. Yes, please. Singularity creates a vortex. Draws objects towards it. Yes, please. Okay, that is a lot of stuff you need to unlock. I think... I might want to just forget about electronics for you. Okay, can use electronic skill on easy objects. Does 50 damage in a 6 meter radius. Yeah, I think this is more Tali's thing. You can stick to this. Lift, also very useful. Advanced lift. So, barrier. Um, eh, you know. Singularity, useful. Um, warp, useful. Lift, very useful. Throw, also very useful. I want warp and singularity first, though. There you go. And then you'll unlock the rest of this. Tali. Crane mechanic, and then hacking. Uh, decryption is fine. Dampening, I think I want on you, and electronics, probably. Uh, though I might want to give you a few more points in, in pistols, right? Yeah, pistols and shotguns. Well, let's go advanced dampening, and uh, give you advanced marksmanship, too. Yes, as for me, no interest in pistols or shotguns. Sniper rifles and assault rifles all the way for me. I also don't want this. Melee weapon is just not very important. Uh, I guess I'll go with soldier and intimidate. And then I'll put the rest in fitness. Because, yeah, I have no interest in first aid, shotguns, or pistols. Best to, to specialize in these things. There we go. Alright, and equipment-wise... I think I've dealt with most of your equipment anyway, but... Yeah, indeed I have. The one thing I would like to change, though, are the attachments on... Uh, your weapon. Speaking of, what weapon do you use? So let's see, we're going into a fight. What is your weapon of choice? Yours is an assault rifle for some godforsaken reason, because you're not good at using them. You're much better at pistols, but yours is a pistol. You really should swap around, I think, but fine. Um, Tali. Oh, wait, it's an equipment. Uh, Tali, assault rifle. The Raptor 4. Okay, I mean, you know, it's your choice, you can have it. I'm going to give you Tungsten Rounds and Kinetic Stabilizer. Liara, for your pistol. Let's see. Um, let's go with Polonium Rounds and rail extension more damage there we go <clears throat> let's open this up and uh yeah i took the wrong door oops <laughs> here we go that's more like it i feel like i can destroy that and That'll do something for me. For now, though, there's weapons here. There we go. Avenger 7. Honestly, didn't know they made Mark 7 Avengers, but fine. Actually, you know what? Back up. I 
feel like that might have done something useful. I'm not quite sure what, but I feel like something useful has been done. Sod. Okay, what the actual living... All clear. Yeah. Okay. At least the sniper rifle works. Bad as well as expected, but yes. I still believe destroying the power junctions will do wonders for me. It is an AI, it needs power, the drones it's fielding are probably using power, and as far as everything else is concerned, I think we're good. Now let's see what manner of Whoops, on me. What manner of fresh hell is in here? Oh? I'll tell you what, give me a... Yeah. Toxic gas is being vented into the bunker. Is it now? Uh, it's alright. It's alright. It's just a little bit of toxic gas being vented into the bunker. Lights on the optical mainframes flicker and die. The first of the three computer clusters containing the VI is offline. The first of the three computing clusters. Of course. Clear. Of course there's two more. Why wouldn't there be two more? I thought like this this was all connected. Like one of the bunkers. was connected to the rest of them, but why would you have that convenience? Of course you wouldn't. And uh, we're sure we can't just nuke this place. Like, you know, I mean, Earth's right there and probably has enough missiles to level several galaxies at this point. Or, I don't know, get the Fifth Fleet to take a bit of an excursion back home and just blast it from orbit? No? Area secured. No, we, we, we can't do that. Of course we can't do that. No. I don't care what he says, I'm breaking all the power conduits. Futilely, probably, believing that It'll do me some good, but... Hey. I want the, uh... Yeah. I want this. I can actually tell you what weapon to use. Um... Which is not something I've, I've really considered. And... I think I'm gonna do that. Okay.
it fired a rocket at me. How incredibly rude. Wait for the shields to recover. I feel like that's going to help. Fucking hell! Yep, 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 yep. Shield boost. And I think that's all of them. Okay. Perimeter clear. Let's blow this place up. And here's the final bunker. Blew up the uh previous one fairly easily. This one, though, remarkably more difficult. Down. Fuck. Okay. Uh, let's go immunity. And then shield boost. And then overkill. Adrenaline boost. Does that fix my unity problem, yes it does. Unity. Shield boost. Uh... Okay. Gun is new. So you up, everyone, and uh, I think we're good. Now, I've lost all my grenades in the process, but... What the hell? Um... Yeah, I'm not sure... Um... I'm not quite sure I'm doing the right thing here, though. Because the AI is protecting itself. And I have a feeling I've been lied to when I'm just executing a sentient AI. Which is gonna be a problem. Morally speaking. Of course, when it's executed, any real problems that it might have posed. And thus, additional security drones powering up. Oh. Yeah, let's blow this up first, and then we'll think about the additional security drones. Because that's the thing, every time I've destroyed something that belonged to the, um... The AI... Uh, it, it sort of upped its defenses. Now, as to what level of, uh... Do I have assassination? Yes, I do. As to what level of awareness and intelligence that might actually represent, I'm not quite sure, but it does not seem like a hacked rogue VI just like that. It Definitely seems to be a little bit more serious. Burst of white noise, overall frequency nearly deafens you. Your hard suit heads up display interrupts into a series of ones and zeros. They, repeated, uh, they repeat again and again, blanketing all frequencies until the light of the final VI cluster. Flickers and dies. Specialization class achieved. 
0100100. Um, give me a second. That was binary for help. I'll just, uh, yeah, I figured it was SOS or something or help. Yeah. We kill the sentient AI. Increase damage with all weapons, increase immunity, ability, maximum ability, assassination ability was shock drew do. Health damage protection, immunity of barrier adrenaline, uh, definitely commando. There we go. We killed an AI. Now, Tali, I, I assume you don't have too much of a quarrel with that, given your uh, position on virtual intelligence in general, but I do. And honestly, I feel like shit. And I don't want to talk about it. What I will say is... Had I been ordered to go and execute a bunch of children in an orphanage, I probably would have felt a, right about the same as, as I feel right now. Maybe slightly worse, but it's sort of on a similar level. Yeah. Fleet HQ on the Citadel. Commander Shepard, something uncomfortable has just come up. In the first contact war, we fired a lot of espionage probes into Turian space. We just received a mission complete burst from one of them. Um. <laughs> Where's it been in the meantime? No idea. Lost in transit. These probes were built in a hurry after first contact. What makes this uncomfortable? When these probes were launched, we didn't have any idea who we were fighting. We don't want to risk aliens examining our technology. The probe has a demo nuke built in. A 20 kiloton tactical fusion warhead. About equal to the bomb dropped on Hiroshima back in the 20th. If somebody finds that probe, tampers with it. You don't need me to finish, Commander. I understand this must be handled. But I don't have anyone trained to deal with this sort of thing, sir. I know. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. These probes have been classified for 26 years. The Council will call fusion bomb booby traps dangerous and irresponsible. The Alliance would face censure if they find this probe. I'm asking you because the Normandy can get on site quickly and quietly. It's in the Voyager cluster. Wait, what's it doing in the Voyager cluster? That's not Turian space. It's in the Voyager cluster. That's the opposite side of the Alliance from Turian space. How did it get there? I don't know. It's possible someone recovered it safely and brought it there. It's also possible it got very badly lost. It could have been wandering the relay network since the war. Okay, we'll handle it, but, uh... Do you want to talk about that Mars AI? We'll get on it immediately, Admiral. And we'll be discreet. I appreciate that, Commander. Good luck. The fleet out. Because um, you're the one that contacted me about it. I mean, I understand it's Alliance High Command, not you, Admiral, but at the same time. Yeah. I guess they'll uh, wash all hands from, from any kind of responsibility about that. So we are in the Voyager sector. Um, and we are going to check it out. After that, we're probably going to Pharos, and then might want to explore these sectors a little bit before we get to Vermeer, but next up on the list, if you will, Voyager and a long-lost nuke. Okay, so here we go. Um, I've scanned the rest of the system. There was a couple of resource deposits, but nothing more than that. And for this one... In particular, I think we're going with the Alliance crew. It's not that I don't trust the rest of the, the, the teammates that I have and the rest of the members of the crew, but um, this is a very delicate situation. And one that needs to be kept off the books. 
So... As far as anyone else is concerned, we're here surveying the planet for resources. In reality... We're cleaning up the mess from Alliance High Command. That they made a couple of decades ago. Oh. Really ought to have the ought to have that petition uh, made that I was thinking about. Rename the Mako to Mountain Goat. is this all about? Let's go left and up the hill that way. Well, mountain more like it, but yeah. Scavenger corpse. Looks like a quarian? No? No, just looked like a quarian from a distance. Actually, looks more human now. The body is a long way from anything that appears to have been here for quite some time. On the body is a book of drawings, including one of the Siglar outpost insignia. Turian insignia discovered. But the corpse doesn't look Turian. Could be from the war. I guess. Okay, I'm assuming that is where I'm supposed to go and get the nuke. That is where... Uh, the other things will be. Um, or not. Of course, I'm having trouble turning this thing around, but I'm also hoping that there might be something inside these uh, crates. I'm on my way. Which there isn't. And there's also nothing inside here. Uh, oh, okay. Here, maybe? No. Uh, Color me surprised, I suppose. Suppose There's a crashed probe. Though, I doubt it's the one we're looking for. Okay. Armor modifiers. And then... Turian wreckage. I'd... Like I said, the corpse doesn't exactly look Turian, so... You know, if you say so. Amusing. On my way. And highly unexpected. 
Mine shaft. That's the source of the signal. Smells like ambush, Commander. I agree. This thing didn't crash. Somebody moved it here. The grasp of the obvious is inspiring. There's still a nuke down there. Check your corners <laughs> and watch your back. <laughs> Sorry about the sarcasm, fellas, but... Well, folks, but... Yeah. <laughs> It is pretty gosh darn obvious. So let's see who set up the ambush for us. Um, it could be the Geth. We found them in a similar spot like this. Could be something else. Nothing on the combat scanner. Actually, um, let me switch to this. Might find something more. Nope. Still nothing. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of terrifying. Just... stay... close. Nothing so far. And nothing still. What the hell? Shepard, at last. Excuse me? Have we met? My name is Ilanos Heliot. I doubt you know it. Who do you think runs the Terminus clan, Shepard, huh? Thousands of pilots, slavers, criminals of every stripe? In most criminal organizations, it's the one who's recognized as the most successful. That's correct. The one who kills the most men, seizes the most ships, pillages the most colonies. Three years ago, I was the strongest. I used my influence to assemble a fleet. We would drive your kind out of the Verge. Oh! You're the one behind the attack on Elysium. I was the motivator. The instigator. The one who promised glory and riches for sacking the largest human colony in the cluster. The one blamed when it failed. Failed! I was ruined when your kind held against the Blitz. What better way to recover my reputation than by eliminating the first human specter? My crew will come for me. Oh, let them. We'll be ready. An Alliance warship would make a fine prize. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, the oars here are laced with heavy metals. I'm afraid your suit radios aren't powerful enough to transmit out. You'll see me again, Halliot. Count on it. <laughs> I rather doubt that. Goodbye, Shepard. What do we do now, Commander? We've got air and light, and the Normandy's still in orbit. Let's look for another way out. There's no time to get out. You have to disable the bomb before it goes off. Okay. Call me a demolitions expert. Let's go. Okay. So... 
I'm going to assume that blast blocked that part of the thing off. Oh, upgrade kit, nice. But where does this lead to? It... It just leads to outside. It, it, this, this... Your plan sucks! I... That is... Unironically, the worst plan I've ever seen anyone come up with. I mean, the, the nuke thing was genius, don't get me wrong. Um, knowing that Alliance High Command would send me, or at least someone equally as valuable, though that such a person doesn't exist, um, is one thing, but there's just... You've just left an elevator for me to leave when I've disabled the bomb. It 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 wasn't even blocked off by anything. It was it was just it was right there. I'm assuming the plan was there's no need to block it because the nuke's gonna kill them. But apparently I'm a genius and can disable nuclear warheads in less than ten seconds. So really, guess who's the fool now? Um. So really all this has done is it, uh... It's made me have to go for a walk. To get to the Mako. And to get it picked up by the Normandy. Tr truly... Your plan is, is... Coming to its full fruition.